Hey guys, I'm Mallory Varner with GSG and I'm the Vinyl Decorating Segment Manager. Today I have a special guest with me. I have Brett. Hi, I'm Brett Murray, VP of Sales with Caesar North America. And today we're gonna to show you a couple different ways to decorate polos. So Brett and I kind of are having a competition which one we think will look better. I like the embossed look, you wanna kind of tell them? Yeah, so we're gonna try a couple different things. Mallory likes the embossed look, I like the raised texture look on the outside. So today we're gonna to do a combination we're going to do a logo with Caesar Brick 600, which is a raised material, and Easy Weed Stretch. And the combination we're going to do today is we're going to put one onto the shirt where the, the brick is on top of the stretch, and then we're going to do another one where the brick gets behind the stretch and gives you almost an embossed look. Mallory thinks the embossed look is better, but let's go check it out and see how it looks. So because we're doing a polo here and we've got some, some buttons and some seams and collars, we have to use a heat transfer pillow. This is absolutely a must. Most common failure for heat transfer vinyl is uneven pressure, and that's due to some of these buttons and seams getting in the way. Slide it in here on, as, as a left chest, and essentially I'm elevating this area above everything else. And now, I can move forward with my heat application. But to start, we're gonna press it for just one second, okay? We're just gonna one second tack it. And so now, we can peel hot. And then we're gonna lay this over, over top. And now we finish and cook them both for the even for the 10 seconds. Now the brick is a cold peel. Okay, and now for this shirt we're gonna do the same process, but we're gonna actually put the stretch the stretch on top of the brick and give it an embossed look. So I've already got the shirt dressed the exact same way as we did before except this time we're gonna put the brick on first. And we're gonna use parchment paper, however, Teflon sheet is absolutely fine as well. Our brick on the shirt here, and it's got a nice textured raise. So now we're gonna to try to achieve this embossed look. We're gonna take our Easy Weed Stretch, and we're gonna do our best to place this on top as evenly as possible. And the reason I'm gonna use the parchment paper today is because um, Teflon sheets are great, but when they hit raw material, sometimes they can they can provide a sheen or a gloss. And for this particular shirt, we do not want a sheen or gloss, so we're gonna use parchment paper. Now we're gonna do a one second tack, peel the carrier, and then we're gonna press it again. And we're gonna see how this turns out. Hopefully it turns out good. So we did our one second tack. I'm going to peel the carrier hot. As you can see, we're starting to get a little bit of an embossed look. So now I'm gonna lay this back down here. And we're gonna do the full press for 10 seconds. And I expect the finished results to look much better than they did just a few seconds ago. Okay, so now we've pressed for 10 seconds. We're going to remove that parchment paper. All right, so I definitely think I win on this one. I think this is a cooler look. I think this would also look really sweet on a hat. This is really neat, it gives it kind of like that tone on tone. It's kind of a different look and people, I don't really think this looks or feels like HTV, you know, it's just a little bit different, something new, so. Yeah, absolutely, Mallory. I think both options look great, but but I'll give it to you on this one. I, I really think that embossed look is, is, is fabulous, so. I think it's pretty cool. It kind of almost looks like a patch, so. Yeah, absolutely. I really, really like these. Thank you so much for joining me today. Be sure and check us out on our YouTube channel, GSG, and then also on my Facebook and Instagram at GSG Vinyl Decorating. Thanks, Brett, and we look forward to seeing you again soon.